I grew up in church, but church doesn't feel like home anymore. The same archbishop and chaplain who had laid hands on me for healing had been on a witch hunt through the seminary and gay folk were being cast out. So there was a real level of fear about revealing myself to anyone. I didn't, look, I didn't laugh at you, I smile at you. And if you let me, I will tell you why. Like I know, I know people call Seattle godless, but I think that's a ridiculous thing to say. Seattle's not godless. Like, yes, there's a, a thirst for truth here. Like, like in Seattle, it's not good enough to just believe something. It has to be proven. It has to be substantiated. It's almost scientific. I began to study Western psychology. Now, now the problem with psychology is that it doesn't address the spiritual. I, I think Freud said, all psychoanalysis will do is make you a normal neurotic. <laughs> I wanted something more. As humans, we are confronted constantly with, with mortality and, and, and illness. Those are things I don't have an answer for. Sometimes I wish I did. Life would be easier. But, but it's not about it being easy, is it? The pre-Christian Celts had a similar idea. They called the thin places where the human and the divine meet 